Welcome once again. We are continuing with thin lenses in this session. We are going to construct ray diagrams, which will lead us to the conclusion of the characteristics which are of the images formed by thin lenses. So we will start with converging lenses. Generally, the characteristics of the images are given in relation to position, nature, and the size compared to the object. Position with relation to the lens and nature, whether virtual or real, and whether erect or upside down. So we are going to start with the when when the object is at when the object is at infinity. When rays are traveling from infinity to a converging lens. So in the ray diagrams, we use a straight line with this curve, curve of a converging lens at the top and at the base to represent a converging lens, to represent a converging lens, to represent a converging lens. Therefore, a converging lens with a F and a twice the F, F and twice the F, F and twice F. We are saying rings are traveling from infinity. So when they travel from infinity, when they travel from infinity, rays from infinity, rays from infinity to the lens, we say that the rays get refracted such that they are meeting on a plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis at F. Therefore, at F, at F there is a plane perpendicular to the principal axis at F. Therefore, these rays will converge somewhere, converge somewhere along that plane, the focal point, which is on the focal plane, the focal point. So, the rays converge at a point on the focal plane and when we try to make the intersection the intersection of the rays gives us the tip of the image so the image will be there and to give the characteristics of this image we will say that the image is the image is one formed at F two it is diminished Diminished means not enlarged, it means smaller than object. Smaller than object, it is found that diminished, it is upside down or inverted. Inverted means upside down. Upside down. And we can also say that the image is real. The image. Is real, the image is real. Therefore, we just draw the ray diagrams, and that is the characteristics observed. We can also observe the characteristics, the characteristics when the object is beyond 2f. When the object is beyond 2f. Twice F, twice F, such that when we construct the mirror, the lens, sorry, like this, the lens like that, the lens like that. construct the lens like that such that such that we have F on both sides and 2F such that we have F and 
2f. Then on the other side we have f and 2f. We are saying object placed beyond here with a tip like that, object O. We can construct ray diagrams and observe the characteristics of whatever image will be formed. So we say we construct three bottom rays, but we can consider just two and the intersection. A ray from the tip of the object parallel to the principal axis, parallel to the principal axis, like that. After reaching the lens, get refracted through F. Get refracted through F. So this one passes through F. Passes through F like that. We talked about is that a ray from the tip through the optical center passes on and deviated. So we can consider also another ray from the tip through the optical center of the lens. And such a ray, we say, it passes on and deviated. It passes on and deviated. That ray passes on and deviated. And the way the two rays are intersecting, they give us the tip of the image. The tip of the image. So the image will be there. And we can give characteristics and say the image is. The image is. The image is. It is upside down or inverted. Inverted. It is between F and 2F. F and 2F on the other side. That's why we are saying the image is real and again the image is diminished. The word diminished means compared to the object, it has become smaller. The image I is smaller. The image I is smaller. We can consider another case where the object is at the object is at, that is beyond 2F. Now we can consider it at 2F. When it is at 2F. When it is at 2F and see the kind of an image to be formed. Therefore, drawing another lens. Which is converging. Which is converging. finish the ray diagrams and see where the image will be. Therefore, we just draw straight lines. Just draw straight lines. Just draw straight lines. Straight lines. A line or a ray parallel and close to the principal axis gets refracted through F. Gets refracted through F. From the tip of the object through the optical center passes on and deviated. The ray progresses and deviated. The ray progresses and deviated. It progresses and deviated. The ray just progresses and deviated. So where the image is getting 
found is here. Then the image is getting found is there. And uh, we can look at the characteristics. We can look at the characteristics. We can look at the characteristics whereby we're just going to observe this image. One, it's form that F, form that to F, sorry, same size as object. So it is not magnified, it is not diminished. And again, it is real. And finally, it is inverted. So those are the properties of the image formed when the object is at 2F. We can consider objects object between F and 2F. Objects between F and 2F. Object between talking of the image, the object now placed here, the object now placed there, object O, we can again finish the ray diagram and see the image, see the image, so rays parallel close to the principal axis from the tip of the object, this ray gets refracted through F gets refracted through F. It gets refracted through F. Like that. It gets refracted through F. Another ray from the tip through the optical center O passes on and deviated. Passes or progresses. It progresses and deviated. That means we can call this ray and consider an intersection. Consider an intersection at some point. Consider an intersection at some point. So we can see the rays are intersecting at this point. Therefore, the image will be found. So we can see the image is magnified. Image is magnified. The image is magnified because it is greater than objects. The image is beyond 2F. Beyond 2F. The image is real and the image is inverted. The image is Inverted. The image is inverted. Inverted. So we cannot consider when the object is at F. <laughs> at F. Image at F. Image. When the object is at F. When the object is at F. What image are we going to? to F and F and the other 
6. Try to finish the ray diagrams. You find that after a ray parallel and close to the principal axis from the tip of the object reaches the lens, it goes through F as usual. It goes through F as usual. It goes through F like that. And another ray from the tip. Center, it passes on undeviated. Therefore, we can see these two rays are diverging, which means they will meet somewhere on the same side with object. The same side with object. So that means we can prolong them in front of on the same side of the lens and see whether they will converge somewhere. So we use dotted lines. Because these ones now, these ones now, the, yeah, the image is now the same size as object. The image is this on the same side as object. The image is upright. Another name of upright is erect. The image is magnified. And this image is virtual. The image is virtual, not real. The image is virtual. The image is virtual. The image is virtual. Finally, we can look at the diverging lens, diverging lens, the diverging lens. Image characteristics of the diverging lens, the diverging lens, by the diverging lens. We know that when rays reach a diverging lens, they converge at F, they converge at F, after refraction or they appear to be converging at f therefore 
the properties, the properties of the image by a diverging lens are just the same, irregardless of the position of the object, because all the rays will just have to intersect, just have to intersect somewhere. So this is how we represent a diverging lens. A diverging lens is represented like that. We draw the principal axis here. Principal axis here, such that. We have F there, we have F there, and two F here, then here, we have F here, and two F here, two F. So, regardless of the position of the image of the object, as long as the lens is diverging, we will have this ray, this ray, going to the lens and appearing to diverge from F. Appearing to diverge from F. So, it gets refracted that way such that it is appearing to originate from F. Therefore, irregardless of the position of the image, all the rays get diverged, so there is no chance of meeting beyond the lens. That means they can all of them be formed on the same side of the object. Another one which passes through optical center, it goes through and deviated. This ray goes through and deviated, and that's why we are saying to meet the other one here, and the image will be formed here, part two, huh? the image will be formed here, this object. The image is diminished, the image is diminished, upright, the image is same side as objects and the image is not real. In other words, virtual. The image is not real, it is virtual. So that is how we study the properties of images formed by thin lenses. Uh, for diverging lenses, all the properties are these ones. For the converging lenses, we have seen the properties depending on the position of the image. So thank you very much for following. Kindly share this link.